car coming in, just ask for assistance. We're gonna go out and check it out, see exactly what he needs. Possibly a combative individual in the back seat of his car. What's the deal with him? Oh, is he spitting? He's got a spit cap on. When you're releasing these cuffs, because I'm not trying to resist arrest. So we're going to talk to you about that. Are you going to give us any trouble at all? No, ma'am. I mean, no, sir. OK, we'll take the leg irons off you and let you walk, but the rest okay. of the cuffs are staying on. So is this little cap till we see how you're going to act. All right. I swear to God, I'm not trying to mess with no one right now. Well, I'm already in much trouble as it is. Well, that is kind of true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wait till so we're going to we'll play it like you act. All right. She's going to let go of your legs so you can get out. You want to slide out feet, or you want to slide out this way? The feet first, please. Okay, I'm going to push you. Hold on, hold on. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. All right. All right. Can you pull my hair on my face, please? We'll get that, we'll get that inside. We'll guide you. What's his charges? Assault on an officer. Assault on an officer? Okay. What's your name? Uh, Michael. Okay, Mike, let's go up here and get these cuffs off you. Right. Up, huh? Can you pull my pants up, please? I'm going to let you do all that. Just remember, how you act is going to dictate how we treat you. All right. More pictures first. Yeah. Can you please get that camera out of here? Don't worry about the camera. That camera's for me. Because I ain't trying to go through no more trouble. I don't want that camera in my face right now. You're going to do like we tell you to do. Like I said, I'm Like gonna... I said, don't you worry about that camera. It's here for us, not for you. Exactly. Like so I... you leave it alone. All right, like I said, I'm going to cooperate. OK. I'm going to cooperate. I ain't trying to go through no more trouble I don't, don't mean making no threat. So you're sitting there making okay. threat. So you've already proven we can't trust you. What are you looking for? He's just looking for scrapes and scratches. Well, that's right there. One tattoo, that's all. From the left shoulder, that's it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Can you pull nope. him off so No, I'm not going to pull nothing up. You could feel him starting to tense up and start to pull away. At that point, we had to gain control again. Look up your mouth. Is this enough? Now, what was the deal? All I asked is what pull up my deal? pants. And he pushed me in this door? Are you seriously kidding me? No, Shut no up. one's kidding you. I'm not trying to resist the rest. Then walk. Your mouth, man. Your mouth is what's getting you in trouble. All right. On the floor. On the floor. On your stomach. OK. Now, as you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate very well. I'm cooperating as it is. So the action? His action gets our reaction. I ain't got one thing on me. Are you kidding We're not me? trusting you anymore. Yeah, right. Enough yeah. with your mouth, man. Enough. All right. Your mouth has already gotten you in so much trouble. Yeah. I'll show you enough trouble. Take your mouth No, you will. See, there you go again, making threats. All right. Making threats you can't keep. And well, listen to me. We're going to take these cuffs off you. Right. You're going to stay on this floor until we all back out of this holding cell. Okay. And if you act crazy in here, hitting on our door. Hand. Do not move your hand. We will come back in here, and this time it won't be as pleasant. Stay on the floor. All right. Now, as you can see, he just doesn't listen. So what happened on the street? Just drunk and disorderly at his parents' house and went out as a domestic. But he didn't attack them. But when the corporal got there, he was screaming and hollering at the front door. He came at my corporal. Well, you attacked your corporal? That's what got him here. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go there and talk to this gentleman, and we're going to try to take him out of the holding cell and uh, see if he's ready to get the booking process over with. All right, Mike. Like I said, we're going to try to get you out and get this done. Just relax. You can relax. Now, you know why we put you in this holding cell? Causing trouble. Causing trouble? No problems now? You're going to be all good? Let's get this done. Here, grab that for me. If you don't mind, we'll throw that in the garbage. That wasn't fun wearing, was it? Sir. Feeling better? Mm -hmm. So what happened to you at home? Mm -hmm. What started all this? My mom and dad. You getting an argument with them because you're drinking or something? Mm -hmm. 
They, they didn't like that? So who called the police? Step back for a minute. Hmm? Your mom did? You've never done this before? First time? I'm sure they'll give you a break. I think you'll be all right. All right? OK. I want you to go ahead and have a seat over here for me, Mike. I'll get your paperwork, and we'll get you finished up. All right. I don't think Mike was really a bad kid. He's a troubled kid. He's probably got an alcohol problem, which is most people come to jail has got an alcohol problem, it seems like. It's what he want to fight on alcohol. You see, Michael stay sober, he's probably the nicest kid you could ask to me. I think he'll make it. I work for the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. I've been here for 15 years, and I am one of the intake supervisors. Working here, you never can tell what type of person we're going to get coming in through the doors. Officers don't discriminate, so anyone could be arrested for any small thing. Why are you What did he get arrested for? Burglary. Oh. Yeah, he, he broke into an apartment. We caught him still inside the apartment. And glass broken. He had the glass fragments on his boot. He had the bubble coat that two witnesses saw him wearing, and we also found the property. Next to where he's he was. giving you a hard time in the vehicle? The entire time down here. This is how he was acting the entire time down here. That's normal behavior for him. <laughs> for him? Yeah, that's normal for him. <laughs> She's eight months pregnant. Okay. Oh. Are you in labor now? I'm just hurting. I don't go in labor. I'm, I have cesareans, but I'm hurting, so that's Where are you all. hurting now? If... Well, lower. Yes. Well, she needs to know. You have feeling yes. pressure or pain? Both. Pressure. How'd you come in contact with her? We got dispatched for a theft report. Simple theft. She showed up. She was just getting on a city bus. We stopped the city bus, got her off of it. She had the property on her. Brought her down here. Easy arrest. Yeah. Come on, he's ready for you. Grab your jacket. Come around this way, sweetie. Sergeant, if I scream, come in, okay? No, I don't deliver. Eric, step up here. Oh, yeah, come. Yeah. And be still. Stand right there and don't move. He was this early the entire way down to the jail. It was a hard time. We had to stop a couple times to make sure he was still secured. I didn't take hey, Eric, nothing. Eric, stay facing the much wall. money to take something. So be good. Turn around and face the wall. Eric, turn around and face the wall and uh, chill. Yes, Calm way down. Yes, ma'am. Don't shake them things. Hey, I'm clean. OK. He told the nurse he was suicidal. Eric, did you tell her you was feeling suicidal? Yeah, now I'm feeling suicidal. Were you playing games? Yeah. Not really. I didn't feel suicidal until I felt I had a felony. So now I really do Oh, feel because suicidal. of your charge? Yeah. Come on. No, nah, but I don't You already told me you're suicidal. I can't lose my county job because you don't want to be suicidal all of a sudden? Well, what if I feel less suicidal than There ain't no less. You told two people. You told the girl at pretrial, and you told me. He needs to be dressed out in yellow. Stop. What size you wear? Small, small? I really ain't suicidal. I'm no. mad no, no, no. You what, suicidal? Mad suicidal. You mean homicidal? No, mad suicidal. That's a new one. <laughs> Come on, my man, right back here. Now he's going to be placed on suicide watch because after speaking to pretrial and finding out that he has a felony, now he feels suicidal or mad as he says, which I don't understand what that means. So now he'll go to court in a yellow uniform on suicide watch. I don't believe that he's suicidal. He just wants to be in a cell with a blanket tonight. Let's go. I'm pregnant. I think I should be going to jail with a no sweatshirt. You do understand why I arrested you? Oh, no problem. It's not your fault. Okay. But I'm just saying, they got their property back. You know, it was mine. If I took it, I'll say I took it. And in any of my conditions that I've ever done, I've done, I just got out doing seven years. Right, but it has nothing to do with you being pregnant. Oh, no, but, but you arrested me, though. How do you know that lady ain't lying? Or how do you know I ain't lying? You know, I'm a Christian. I'm not gonna go in there and steal no sweatshirt and jeopardize me to come to jail to eat bologna sandwiches and juices when I'm out in the street. Ma'am, have a seat. 
Well, you belong to this first officer. First Why are you back here fussing and complaining? No, I wasn't complaining, ma'am. You weren't? No, ma'am. Okay. Sarge, I swear to God, I'm not in the wrong. I get ready to get back on the bus to go back home. Here comes these officers. You didn't have a receipt? The lady had it. Then why would she call the police and say you stole because it? Because I, I don't know she went and, no, I didn't have the receipt to do the exchange. No, my friend has the receipt. Mm -hmm. If you felt like I stole something, you should have been calling the police then, not wait till I get to a bus stop. Well, you know, it takes the police a minute to get there. But not, not on that, nah. It take them for to get them child molesters a minute. Well, how do you jump to child molesters? I'm saying, but for a petty theft, come on now. Come on, Sarge. Everybody ain't bad people. Okay, go ahead and listen to what he's telling you to do. Sarge, everybody ain't bad people. I'm not saying everybody's a bad person. I should have the benefit of the doubt. Because people lie. I've lied. And I'm, a, I'm already almost due. And it hurts. All right, you understand that I'm doing whatever I can do to on our end yes, for the sheriff's department to make sure that everything is done correctly, right? Yes, ma'am. And you gonna show up for court? Yes, ma'am. Okay. On your behalf. All right. And I'm gonna give you the big picture of my baby when it's born so you can put it in your office. Okay. Because I'm gonna say this is the one who let you go. It's Let's the see. officer. The one that you said needs to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's the, the it's officer. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you in a minute, okay? She's eight months pregnant, so she was given a court date to come back. But Alicia feels, though, just because she's pregnant, she shouldn't have been brought to jail. The probability is that she won't show up for court. We'll probably catch her after she gives birth to her baby.